Hey everybody, this is Ronnie, your TA. Uh, today we're going to be having a very simple slide making tutorial. Uh, the slide we're going to be remaking is actually this one we had for the tequila red case. And basically what I want to teach you with this is how to set up a slide master, use primitive objects, use theme colors and format options to create very nice slides. And I'm also be giving you some general tips along the way. Uh, the idea of this is for you guys to create beautiful slides because you're going to be making a lot of them in future classes. So what do we begin with? We need, we need to set up a slide master. So what do we start with? Basically, we just have the company logo and then we have an empty slide. So you go to slide, you go to edit master, and then from here you have a variety of different choices. So actually you can create your own custom layouts or you can actually edit pre-made ones. Uh, but here we're going to start from scratch. So the first thing we need is of course a title and a subtitle. So if you go here to text, you will see that you can actually have a title placeholder and also a subtitle placeholder. So we're going to be having both of them. Just going to insert them a bit randomly first. And then uh, for our presentation, we actually used uh, Helvetica. So changing that now, it's important to note that whatever slides I create from now on will always be Helvetica. So that's really useful. I'm sure you guys uh, have tried to get things aligned by eye, but it's way faster if you just select them both and then you just align. And then what else do we need? We need our logo. So we come here, the logo, of course, I hope you guys will just be able to find it online. Preferably if it is in PNG format, that'll make it easier. We go back to the master, insert our pretty logo. And then to finish it up, we have a simple line. So just here, lines, just make it a bit long, maybe up to here. And then you can see from the little ruler here, if it's actually going to be a perfect parallel line or not. So you can get the hang of it there, almost. And okay, that's about right. Maybe a little bit slanted, but nothing very noticeable. Oh. Okay, perfect. And then here, of course, this is a little bit wider. So in, being, in very general terms, this is a very rudimentary slide master, but you can see that it already looks actually quite nice and it is uh, quite fast. You can see how fast we, we can actually already start moving on. Uh, and then the thing that I would like to show you is how to actually use these reusable models, these uh, primitive objects. So many times I see that you guys have trouble when you need to put a lot of text into a slide. That is why we have different emphasis. So here, level one emphasis, level two and level three. So something for us before we even use these uh, primitive objects, it would be useful to get the colors, the theme color of the company. To do this, I've actually pre-downloaded an eyedropper extension. Uh, I recommend you guys get it. It is available anywhere, it's free. So basically what you do, you can go back to the slide master. We have our little color picker. And you can see, I have it here already downloaded. You can pick any color from any web page. In this case, we want this nice burgundy purple color. And once we have it, we get a hex code. So once you have this hex code, you can actually input this color anywhere. So what we do here is that once you edit colors, you will see that there is an option for different theme colors. What we can do here is that by me altering what the text and background will be, it'll change everything. So I usually find it easier to change the accents. So here we have, this is the hex color for this orange, but I had already pasted the purple one for the Arete case. So here we go. This is exactly the purple that Arete uses. And then we can select here. We want this title to be in the theme one color. And we want this line to be a little bit thicker and to have that nice burgundy Okay, and already that fast we're having, it's not exactly the same size, but basically the same design. And then how do we move on to have the different boxes? So in the slide that I had here, I have titles and then I have some content. So immediately we can just go here and copy and paste that. So we have, these primitive objects will be available to you guys. So 
there's no need to worry. We just need one of them. Come here. We're going to have one title. Ooh. Two titles. And then once again, it's just a matter of changing back to that nice theme color. It'll make it so fast. Oh, there's no need to have any background here, any border, I mean. Let's have some nice aligning at the top. And then the same thing for the boxes that are going to have the main information we're trying to describe here. So two of them. Luckily, Google Slides aligns them for them immediately. You can also just come here, go down. Okay, it's starting to look quite similar. I noticed that in mine, I made it a little bit thicker. So let's say that I make it up to this width and I wanna make this the same width really fast. So a thing that many people ignore is this option here. If you click the three dots, you get format options. This is the most detailed way for you to edit any single thing you want to edit in Google Slides. You have, you can rotate it, you can flip it, you have the exact number of pixels it has, and then you can even alter the text you have inside here. So let's say you want it to not take up the first part in the top. You can actually change this. So that is something that many people don't know. Um, I guess it'll be useful for you guys. So here, actually, how wide is this one? So what is the width? So we don't want the text fitting, we want the one position, we want the size. It's exactly 3.03. Immediately, we can just go here and make this the same size. Make it precise. I think consistency is one of the main tips for making your slides look nicer. Okay, now it's the same size. We have this little arrow to indicate that there's some change happening. Around here, and then we have another arrow. So basically here, already we have very nice looking design without having actually any text. It is not exactly the same as it was here, but it is very similar. And you can see that it took me a very short amount of time. So when you're making slides, try to think about what is the emphasis you want to give. So here actually we could have had maybe a subtitle if needed. Uh, in that case, since we were having graphics, it doesn't seem to be necessary, but we could have. And uh, once you decide what is the emphasis, it'll be easier for you to have a hierarchy in your slide and then your slides will become better. Always start a slide by having an idea in mind. Don't just blindly go open a new slide and think it's going to be great. Uh, it's just not gonna work. And I hope uh, some of these tips will help you make better slides. And um, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs>